Hi, I'm Annika. I'm the Creative Aging Programs Associate at the Bainbridge Island Museum of Art, and today we're going to be making drawing prosthetics inspired by German artist Rebecca Horn. Horn described her work, such as finger gloves and unicorn, as body sculptures, which explored how the artist's body could be extended or restricted. When I was first introduced to Horn's sculptures, the thing that stuck with me was how her work explored the boundary between the artist and their tools. When we think about tools really simply as any device used to carry out a specific function, we start to see the close dependent relationships we have with different objects in our lives from a pencil to a favorite coffee cup. So today we're going to think about something that we can draw with that takes that relationship to the next level a custom drawing prosthetic. So to build our drawing prosthetics, the supplies are pretty limitless, but you are gonna need something to make the marks on your paper. You could either use felt tip markers, pencils, or you could try using paint brushes and paint. Then you're gonna want to think about how you're extending your body with your prosthetic. So you might use recycled materials like toilet paper rolls or old cardboard boxes. You might want to go outside and find branches or see if you have any scrap pieces of wood like these little wooden dowels that you could extend some part of your body with. Something else you might want to think about is how you're going to be attaching your markers, paint brushes, or pencils, whatever your marking tool is, to your body. Is it gonna be dangling? Is it going to be extended? I personally picked up this embroidery hoop because I was thinking about how it might be interesting to hang pens from it and then attach it to my arm or my leg and see what kind of marks are made from that dangling motion. The other thing that you're gonna wanna think about is how you'll be attaching your marking tool to your prosthetic and how then that will be attached to your body. You could do something really simple and use duct tape for the whole thing or you could think about using yarn or wire and the different ways that these different materials will interact with your motions as you're drawing. Let's get right into it. I started by thinking about what limb I wanted to attach my prosthetic to and as I went I would attach markers or whatever drawing tool you'll be using and test how it made marks on the paper while I moved. For this, I used quite big paper so I could make big movements, but you could also do a prosthetic from a different part of your body on a smaller scale with just standard sized paper. It's nice to test out how the markers work as you're going and how different materials like wire, string, and wood create different types of marks on your paper. I also like to experiment with how it felt to move while making those marks and what kinds of motions made the types of marks that I found the most satisfying or interesting. Thanks for joining us for Art in Action. We'll see you next time.